local organization is using the game of chess to empower young people in the game of life. Joining me now to talk about the Queen's Gambit nonprofit is founder Ashley Lynn Priori and youth instructor Luke Martin. Thank you both for coming in. Thank you so much for having us. And it's so nice to see you again, Ashley, because I know. We've, you've been on PTL before. Yes. You've been around for a number of years really promoting your love mm -hmm. of chess. Absolutely. I'm, I'm thankful to be back. I love everyone here. and. Uh, congrats to Selena for her baby. I, I know. know. <laughs> it's so great. Well, so tell us about why you started Queen's Gambit and, and where your love of chess really came from. Well, I started playing chess when I was really little, about four years old, and I just loved teaching the game. When I went out to teach the first time, just to see this excitement from the kids was something I'll never forget. So I started Queen's Gambit in 2014. I was a freshman in high school. And to see its growth is amazing, but more so to see Pittsburgh kids getting into it, kids like Luke. Uh, to have their impact of the game. You know, it's just an exciting thing to see. Yeah, and Luke, tell me a little bit about you. Um, so I'm a youth instructor. Uh, I go around uh, Pittsburgh teaching at boys and girls clubs or whichever schools need me. Um, and I go around teaching. I, you can probably find me if there's like a children's festival going on in Pittsburgh, I'm usually there. And when did your love of chess begin? Um, it really started in elementary school. Uh, my friend kind of got me into it. Then he left chess and then I continued. And then I played in a tournament and I was like, hey, I'm really good at this. <laughs> yeah. Let's keep doing it. And I kept doing it. Well, and it does, it provides that confidence, right? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. It's the confidence and when I tell parents that when you play chess, it helps the dendrites and the brain grow, leading to like higher math scores, better literacy. Parents get excited, but the kids love it because it's just a unique thing. How many people do you hear saying like, oh, I play competitive chess? Right. It's a great part of it. And I have to tell you, I watched, it was the show called Queen's Gambit? It was, the yes. Queen's Gambit, yeah. Yes, <laughs> and it, it was so phenomenal. And I feel like there was this big surge after mm -hmm. that show came out where people were like, oh, this is really cool and yeah. I want to learn more about it. And there's this like powerful, I don't want to say dark, but like this powerful kind of quietness about it, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely, and every you know strategic planning thing you see, everything you see when it revolves around like thinking ahead, it's always chess. And as chess players, I think we want to take it back and be like, this is our love for the game. It's spreading it, it's showing yeah. that chess is strategic leadership, critical thinking, and it's making kids like Luke confident in everything they do. Well, so you brought kind of a portable chess board here, which is something that you bring mm -hmm. to the schools, right? And, yeah. and help when you're, when you're doing some mm -hmm. of your instruction. So tell us a little bit about uh, what you would do in a typical setting. Yeah. Luke, teach me a little bit. I've never so, played chess before. So what you want to do at the start is typically get the center. So that involves pushing pawns. Um, and then what you want to do usually is called castling, which is when you move your rook and king. So it's kind of like a teamwork move. Mm -hmm. And then uh, in the end game, to end the game, you typically want to either checkmate, which is winning, or you can stalemate. And there's multiple ways to draw a game. But you want to checkmate. So to checkmate, you have to check. So you want to corner the king and then bring your king over and use like your queen to checkmate them. Oh, that's uh, so interesting. Okay, so tell me about the pieces that we have here on the board right now. I mean, I'm telling you, I know nothing about chess. So fascinating I and, and I would love to learn more. Mm -hmm. So Absolutely. And the thing that I love to ask people first too is like, what's their favorite piece? And they always yeah. say the queen because yeah. the queen's the most powerful piece, right? And so here we have just a little bit of, you know, position. We have uh, black king, black queen and then the white queen. And I like to start off small. So having kids identify first, like what's their favorite piece? What piece do they feel the most connection to? And when you start off small, you really get them talking about like, oh, well, I think you could move here or move there. And it's, it's really great to see. Now in this position right here, we just have, you know, the board's cleared off, it's near the end game. And I always challenge kids to say like, well, how can you get the king in a space where he's stuck and he can't move? And that's really how we approach this. So in a situation like this, tell me how you would do that because I wouldn't know, can you move in any which way? Mm -hmm. How does it work? Luke, do you wanna? Um, so you want to get the king to the corner, so A1. So what you would do would be start checking and once the king moves over, pretty much just copy the moves. Say if this black queen was over on the side and taken, 
you would corner the king. Now the square's off space, so it has to move here. Then it would move here. Typically, there would be like a king over here. And you don't want to go here, because then the king has no more moves, and that's called stalemate. So you would keep bringing your king, and the king would keep moving back and forth until the king's right here, and you can checkmate here. Perfect. And that's how you would do it. How can people get involved? Because I think this is really, if they want to learn more about this, mm -hmm. learn the basics, and, mm -hmm. and really how this can further their math skills and their inventive thinking. Well, they can visit our website. Uh, but the other thing too is ask the school that your kids go to. Do you have chess? And if not, how can we start one? Because yeah. in the classroom, if the kids can get that firsthand experience and then they, you know, they learn at home, it's really exciting to see. Um, one thing that makes us a little bit different though is that most chess organizations do lots of competitions. We focus on that, but we more focus on like how can we support students in, in tons of ways. And that's how Luke is an example. He does competitive chess, but he also goes out and teaches and learns about like after school programs. It's a really exciting time. It's so wonderful. Thank you both for coming here and telling me a little bit more about the Queen's Gambit and about chess in general. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. And uh, to find out more about how you can get involved with the Queen's Gambit, you can head to our website, kdka.com slash talkpittsburgh for more information.